about to guide you through a quick meditation practice that will help you deeply ground your energy and balance all seven of your major chakras. So if you can't do this right now, save it for later. This practice helps to really activate your root chakra or your muladhara, which is related to anxiety and stress when it's out of balance and can bring really powerful yet calm and stable energy when it is in balance. By strengthening this foundation, you will bring balance to all the other energy centers in your body. To do this practice, we will use this powerful gesture called prana mudra or the life force gesture. Do this by simply joining the tip of your thumb to the tips of the ring and pinky fingers on both hands and leaving the index and middle fingers extended like this. Usually prana mudra is practiced with the palms face up on the knees like so, but today we're practicing bhu mudra or gesture of the land or earth. We will take this gesture, point it down, and touch these two fingers to the ground. Right now get settled in any comfortable position on the ground. Keep your palms face up on the knees as I guide you into a deep relaxed breath and I will guide you into this gesture, placing it down into the ground and grounding your energy. Let's begin. Palms face up on the knees, take a deep breath in and exhale out the mouth. Another deep breath in, fill in from the base, feeling the belly expand and exhale out the mouth with that big sigh. One more deep breath in, expand the belly and the chest even more, and let it all out through the mouth. Begin breathing in and out your nose, slowly finding a rhythm that suits you in this moment. Begin to relax your body, let go of any tension in the muscles, Feel your face relax. Let go of the muscles behind the eyes. Relax your jaw. Relax your shoulders down away from your ears. Feel your arms relax and let go of tension. And feel your hands now. Let go of any tension in all the little muscles of the palms and fingers. Feel the hands be completely relaxed for a moment. And notice if you can already feel any extra sensation here. The energy in your hands is very strong, whether you are aware of it or not. But you may begin to feel tingling, heat, vibration as you relax and focus on your hands. Slowly now begin to curve your ring and pinky fingers towards your thumb. Maybe you can feel the energy at the tips of the fingers before they even meet. Allow the tips of the ring and pinky fingers to touch the tip of the thumb, creating a connection of energy here, keeping the index and middle fingers extended, gently relaxed, taking a deep breath, relax the entire body once more, especially the arms. With another deep breath in, lift the hands, turn them face down towards the ground, and place the extended fingers of each hand on the ground, connecting the tips of those fingers to the ground beneath you. You may already begin to feel the energy coming through the fingers into the arms. But if you don't feel anything, that's all right. Just continue to pour your awareness into the fingertips touching the ground and keeping your body relaxed. Let this gesture and the connection do the work for you. The only thing you have to do here Keep your face relaxed, your arms relaxed, 
and that gentle connection with the tips of your fingers on the earth or ground below you. Continue to take a deep breath and bring your awareness even more deeply into the touching fingertips, to the ground, noticing any slight vibration or heat or magnetic sensation. If any thoughts or distractions arise, that's all right. Just come back to noticing the sensation here, as gentle as it may be. Take one final deep breath in, feeling that radiating, pulsing energy, maybe throughout the entire body, flowing up, from the base of your spine, through the stomach, heart, throat, third eye and crown. Bring the hands back to the knees whenever you are ready. You can let go of the gesture. You can open your eyes whenever you're ready. Feel the energy that has shifted within your body right now. Use this as often as you need to. I always recommend doing grounding mudras outside on the earth, but in the winter time when that's not possible, everyone asks me what they should do, and now I finally have a solution to that. This grounding mat has been working for me for over a month now, and I highly recommend it to anyone that is in winter and cannot get outside to ground on the earth itself. I'm Mal. I'm here to help you find meditative practices that actually help your life, so let me know if this helped you and follow for more.